In the spring of 2020, Creative Citizen Studios and Casey Drogi Cultural Productions launched the Fellowship Program, which paired CCS artists with Pittsburgh-based artists for mentorship and collaboration. Creative Citizen Studios is an arts organization that focuses on the creative development of artists with intellectual and developmental disabilities. CDCP, or Casey Drogi Cultural Productions, is an artist-run, women-owned business dedicated to growing our Pittsburgh arts community by offering accessible, quality experiences that encourage growth of the local arts economy. This partnership was made possible through funding from the E.L. Trees Foundation. Working through the constraints of the global pandemic, artists exchanged drawings, worked independently, and traded pieces back and forth to create their collaborative series. In addition to Zoom meetings and mail art, there was space available for artists to meet in person for outdoor workshops. Autumn Randall and Terranate Idea were both inspired by Autumn's love of large hair bows, recycled materials, fashion, and sculpture. This team met through Zoom and in person to create a trio of crowns. From their very first conversation, this artist pair created a storyboard of ideas referencing West African headpieces, Egyptian crowns, and contemporary headdress art made out of fabric and wire. Each piece created celebrates nature, heritage, and a commitment to sustainability through reuse materials. Farron Thompson and Matthew Van Asselt were a pair that clicked from the very beginning. These artists shared an interest in comics, cartoons, and drawing. Their current studio practices and their love of the Pittsburgh landscape inspired their collaborative silkscreen prints. Through Farron's love of vintage Batman comics, this pair found layout inspiration, which helped to create a comic book style, conversational prints of their studio practices and the Pittsburgh landscape. In their artist statement, Matthew and Farron wrote that the reasoning behind creating these positive messages was due to the heartbreaking events they've both seen on the news. They wanted to share with the world that there will always be better days with big colorful buildings and trees and people hanging out with each other. Jamie Johnson and Alexandra Lakin worked together remotely during the constraints of the pandemic. While they did not meet in person, these artists came up with innovative ways to work together through an art exchange in the mail and many shared art surfaces. In their Zoom calls, Jamie shared her fascination with the concept of peripheral vision and her interest in drawing the unseen facets of the body. With each drawing and painting exchanged throughout the collaboration, the artist could respond to the other's creative gestures in a joyful way. Each artist, while having different understandings of the concept of the body, was able to echo and respond to each piece and close their distance gap and bring out the true meaning of their collaborative works. Alex stated that Jamie's kind, open spirit and expressive but deliberate drawing styles made her an intriguing and exciting partner in collaboration. Matthew Carroll and Fran Flaherty had a dream collaboration from the start. They knew how the pandemic affected all people differently, including one another. And they had a vision of what our world looked like when the pandemic is over. In their powerful statement, this artist pair shared that their collaborative collage and mixed media piece shows ordinary people who were part of the COVID-19 lockdown. Their dream of 2021 being the end of the COVID-19 pandemic displayed people happy and excited to return to normal life, a life free of COVID-19 and a life free of racism. They share that not only our nation, but the entire world will be together once again. Mick Fisher and Curtis Reeves. As an illustrator and a graphic designer slash photographer, these artists work to fuse their different mediums. Mick and Curtis combine their distinctly different art forms together to create one-of-a-kind collaborative works. Utilizing both artists' strengths, this pair was able to use Mick's fine-tuned realistic drawings of bugs and animals in tandem with Curtis's expert photography and digital art skills in a whimsical yet striking art form. There's a playful element in these works that asks the viewer what it would be like if pigs worked in steel mills and lobsters could play with yo-yos. William Taylor and Atia Jones created collaborative works through conversation on canvas with acrylic paint, intriguing canvas shapes, and the act of piecing together the works they made separately. 
Their pieces came together as a patchwork banner, which were sewn by Atia. Atia was inspired by William's repeating statement of the word costume, which was similar to some of her ideas and thoughts throughout the COVID pandemic. In their statement, Atia wrote, COVID times have forced many of us to look at who we are in every aspect of our lives. The costumes we present on a daily basis, the costumes of altruism, allyship, informed consumer, young professional, and beyond. These are all under speculation, scrutiny even. I believe there is no better time than now to question which one you may be wearing. Through their shared thoughts and Atiyah's translations of the words William spoke to her, they created a collaborative work that showed both rich meaning and a painted conversation. Thank you for joining us for this video tour of the CDCP and CCS Fellowship Exhibition, which is on display at the CDCP Project Space in Wilkinsburg. These artists went on quite a journey to learn how to collaborate with one another and learn the other person's creative language while, of course, working within the confines of a global pandemic and a time of civil uprising. We are delighted to share this body of work with you through this video and on the CCS website where work is available for purchase. May this work inspire you to find a collaborative, creative conversation with someone who is looking at the world from a different perspective or disability.